Hey, hey everyone, Flappy here, and today we are going to be talking about the most perfect face in all of D&D. That's right, Brennan Lee Mulligan's face is going to be the subject of discussion today. So, this is my pointer stick. We're not going to be able to actually use it. All right, Brennan Lee Mulligan's face. Let's jump right into it. We got Brennan Lee Mulligan's face here. Um, it is... Obviously, uh, extremely expressive, and I want to take a note right now, because we'll come back to it in, in just a bit, but I want to take a note at his eye-to-mouth ratio, which is about one, maybe like a little less than one-to-one one right now. There is like a perfectness in the features of this face. He does have quite a few examples of the Fibonacci spiral going on here, as you can see, and let me click here. Uh, obviously, the hairline is the biggest example, so the eye to the hairline and then going off of his face. If we go on, we can see this all over his face, like down his face and down his brow, from his mouth up to his nose, around his eye, but around his nose that time, his hair as, uh, as a marker from his eyebrow, his eyebrow itself, uh, all sorts of different Fibonacci spirals all over his face. That's how you know that it's a perfect face for expression in D&D. You remember we were talking about that eye to mouth Mouth ratio. Now we can see that his eye to mouth ratio has dramatically shifted. It means that his his range of expression is so wide. His eye, eye to mouth ratio goes from almost one to one or one to two, like somewhere in between there, to uh, what appears to be like one to four. And I'll actually show you. So one, two, three, four. So you can fit about four eyes into that mouth of his in this situation. But if we go back to this one, uh, you can see that his mouth pretty much just fits right into the eyes. His eyes do actually look like mouths a little bit, which adds to the expressiveness. To visualize this a little bit better, I made a, a little edit here for you guys. So we can see that his eyes have dramatically changed. The drama that he can bring out of his face is obviously a whole heck of a lot. Let us move on. I wanted to note here the change between his neutral face this isn't his neutral face <laughs> we could call this his neutral face although we got to get rid of the eyes in his mouth notably the wrinkles in his brow and his chin have gone down to zero he has more of a chiseled face here uh, all of a sudden wrinkles grow in his face as he is DMing. The wrinkles grow over time throughout a session. Right now his his brow has developed one, two, three, maybe four or even a semblance of a fifth wrinkle here on his brow. And then underneath by his chin, he has grown one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wrinkles uh, if we include this one below the lip. Let's just look at the comparison uh, of what it was before versus what it is after. And now I also want to point out these uh, indents in his temples. The indents in his temples seem to indicate that he has a more protruding brain, which means his prefrontal lobe is probably actually much bigger than anyone else's. Let me just pull up a picture of the brain for you all. So we brought up a picture of the normal human brain, and let me just make this a little bit bigger for you all. So we have the frontal lobe, which uh, normally your your head doesn't protrude as much as Brennan Lee Mulligan's does. And if we take this and we just sort of, I think if we just let this protrude just a little bit more out. So this is a little bit more of what Brennan's uh, brain is going to look like. Uh, you know, not that much different from our brain but just a little bit extra on the front there, just to fill out that creative thinking aspect. So this is before and after here, being Brendan Lee Mulligan. Uh, and then if we take the whole picture away, we can see that this is the sort of bulbous area where that brain protrudes out. Lastly, I do want to talk about, he has obviously changed a little bit over the years. I think the, the forehead area has actually grown 
grown wider. I think uh, as we see time progress, I think we're gonna see this forehead grow even larger, and I think the whole head is going to sort of widen. These eyes, I think they're just gonna get like, like quite bigger. I think these eyes are, are truly gonna grow a little bit more. And then I think we'll see just a little bit happier. I think he grows a little happier with every passing year. More sort of clownish features developing on our friend Brennan Lee Mulligan over the years. His face will look thinner, but his head will still continue to grow uh, at an alarming rate. We can expect Brennan to look something a little like this in the coming years. I'm so excited to see what the future actually holds for him. I hope you learned a lot about the mathematical properties of Brennan Lee Mulligan's face. Uh, folks, I made this video as just a dummy fun video for you all. Uh, I really want to advertise tomorrow, Thursday, July 28th is going to be my very first YouTube live stream. So make sure you come check that out and uh, give this video a like and I will catch you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.